All right, hey guys, welcome to the video. Today is gonna be a very special video. The end of the year is coming, and like we did last year, we're just gonna do a top 10 video. I can't remember if there's more than 10, um, but this video is gonna be very fun. Um, this was a really interesting year for this channel. Uh, not too much posting, wasn't a lot, uh, unlike last year. There was a lot of videos last year. Um, but I think I made a very good choice with these videos, um, just videos that did good or videos, um, that I personally really thought were funny or that I liked. So, um, anyway, get something to eat, grab something to drink. This video might be a bit of a long one. Let's get into it. Thank you for this, you guys. Hey, I'm Riley, and welcome to the lab. So great about this product is that it gives you the flexibility and the versatility of a tablet or a laptop. My favorite is going to be forest, but you can also get graphite, sapphire, or platinum. Cover drawing, writing, annotating. Pick for any student, professional. My name is Ben, and today we're taking a look at the Wallbox Pulsar Plus electric car charger. You can actually charge up to seven times faster than the normal 120 volt cable that comes with most electric vehicles. This comes with a money by managing your charging sessions right from your mobile device. Another feature of the app is it will let you know when your car is done charging. Because this is hardwired, you will not have any extra cables that will get in the way or take up any wall space. With this 25 foot cable, you have the flexibility to park further away. Once again, this is the Wallbox Pulsar Plus electric vehicle charger. My name's Ben. If you have any other questions on it or any other charger similar to it, click the link below. And Forza Horizon 5 is an open world racing game set in Mexico, made on November 5th of 2021. It was a great game and improved many flaws from the previous game, Horizon 4, which wasn't very well received by the players. The game never died, it just never got better. Many people put their trust in Playground Games to make a game that was better than its predecessor. The game started strong with many great updates and fun gameplay, but with many bugs, unfortunately. In some cases, it started off rocky, and in some it didn't. After some time, the game started to fall off as we got many cars from the older games that came out as quote-unquote new content when older players knew it wasn't. Many players had thought that the game was dead and it lost players left and right. And so the grave was dug and the game laid down to be set in stone. The first expansion was okay, good for the time, and around January 15th, Car Pass ended. So now there wasn't a single new piece of content. But in around series 15, new cars came into the game. And some decent recycled cars too, actually. In series 17, the saving grace of the game was revealed, the Rally Expansion, which came out with great features, including a long-awaited one and to lag turbos. Cool vehicles and great twisty roads and an all-around great expansion. Some players came back, but not enough. Playground Games had to step up their game. Not too long before all of this had happened, creative director Mike Brown had left, and soon many other employees left to join Mike at his new company. Then the good updates rolled in. Many believed that it was Mike Brown's fault because he was not a car guy, but a creative director. Who was the creative director for 10 years? And now, here we are today. These days, we've gotten the best updates we've had in over a year, getting new cars every week. After these last few updates, many players have been coming back every week for these new cars, and YouTubers are finally talking positively about the game and updates in the future. New games have been coming out recently, or there have been trailers for them. They all look great and many think the same, but it's on how they will compare to when they get released on Xbox to Horizon 5 now. A few months ago, there were barely any players coming back. Now there are players coming back every week. So has the game risen from the dead? 
For me, at least, yes. Yes, it has. Shot that.
tryna see what's up. Yeah, yeah. He wanna fuck. I make the mean, then triple, then double. Upgrade the Glock with a laser and muzzle. Road trips are a blast. And long stretches on the road can take their toll. In this video, we'll check out eight ways tech can help make them more enjoyable. Number one, tablets. Keep the kids busy during long drives with hours of content specific for their age. For their age, the Fire HD 8 Kids Pro by Amazon is a slim tablet designed for kids and includes a kid. Portable entertainment option is a mobile gaming system like the Nintendo Switch OLED model. Store and play games without needing the internet. The Nintendo Switch can be played solo or take off the Joy Con. Headphones can be used by plugging them in directly or the honor. We'll have so much fun to get Make that ride a peaceful one. The J Lab J Buddies Pro Wireless Kids Headphones are They have built-in volume regulators to protect little ears. First grader Gage Berger often dreads going to school because of the mean things the other kids say about his ears. Keeping audio below 85 decibels by default, but if the space is noisier, parents can bump that up to 95 decibels. The switch is hidden right here inside the ear cup. Using the share port feature, the included aux cord, and another pair of headphones, two <laughs> Hello everyone and uh, welcome to just a quick introduction to Forza Motorsport. Um, I know I didn't really talk about motorsport that much, but um, like I haven't talked about it that much, but um, here we are. <laughs> um, anyway, oh wow, look at all these. Yeah, this is settings. Oh, it's just that. Okay, anyway. Here we go. First, like, thing into the game. We gather at iconic cathedrals of speed. United by passion. And now I'm literally playing the game. Is that the Aston Martin Valkyrie? We bombed over every challenge. Celebrate. Every second. Too bad the upgrade system is absolutely poo. Discover who we are. I'll get to that later, but um, here we are now. Oh wow. This is cool. This kind of reminds me of uh, Motorsport 4. Oh, that was sick. Fort some Motorsport. Hi, so. Um. Yeah. Anyway. I'll show you guys the initial drive with both the C8 and the Cadillac. And then um, I'll talk a little bit about the game. And then that will be the video. Because I have other things to do.
Thank you. I kind of already knew that, though, not going to lie. Okay, there we go. I think I'm getting it. Okay, a little bit of understeer for this thing. What am I talking about? Of course it's going to have understeer. Not only is it like a hybrid or whatever. Ah! Ah! Jesus. Sorry. So I guess I'll get into some of the, uh... Um, I was gonna say how the gameplay is, but you're kind of watching gameplay right now, so. <laughs> um, no. I. Th ah! Well, I guess I'll explain how it feels. It does feel so much like, like Horizon or not Horizon Motorsport Seven, like it that you could definitely feel they're trying to give it like a heavy feeling. But all it was was just slippery. It was just a slippery mess, honestly. Okay, anyway. Um, but yeah, I like the gameplay. Feels nice. I wouldn't say it feels bad, per se, but yeah. I'll show you guys, like, the upgrade system and all that. So you can kind of get a feel of the game. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Like, yeah, a little bit. Yep, uh, the game is, like, brand new. Oh yeah, that's cool. Thank you. I think I already knew that though. Bye. That also means you guys can kind of get looks at the uh, the map too. This is a new track, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a new track. I don't know why I'm saying this, because I think I already knew it was a new track. Why is it asking me to rewind? Oh, wait, I think it's just telling me the controls. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> that looks sick. So, I don't really watch a lot of motorsport. Like, the last motorsport I think I've watched was, like, the 2021, like, Daytona. Um race thing. I mean, that counts as a motorsport. Um, oh, it's a, a Senza. That thing is so cool. I wish it sounded as good, but nope, it doesn't sound as good. Okay. Look it through there. Come on. Let me just gain up on him. Yeah, let's go. Well, the AI sure does drive much better. <laughs> Alright, so. There was the initial drive. Um, okay. Um, I don't really care. Awesome. Um, anyway. Where is, uh, what's new? Um, no. <laughs> Race. Cars. Upgrade and tune. Here we go. Okay, so can I just upgrade and tune my current car, please? You know, I'll do this one just because, well, why not? So here we have something called a car level. And, like, the more you drive around and race and in stuff. Oh, that's cool. I wonder if they actually have you do that. Um, you, like, get to choose certain parts. <clears throat> and for now... What I have unlocked are the exhaust and air filters, oil and cooling, brakes, the roll cage, and ballast. Ballast, just makes your car heavier. Tires. See, all this stuff you have to unlock at different levels. But the first, like, few things you can just straight up have. Um, instead of just using your credits... You use car points to upgrade your car, and you use credits to buy the car. Sorry, my voice is so low. I'm recording this, like, right before school, I usually. Well, yeah. Um, tuning is a bit different. Yeah, this is normal. Yeah, this is normal. Which one was it? Um, so, yeah, this is different. I don't really know what this does. Um, 
honestly. Um, then downforce, that, that, and then this is, oh, I thought this was for your, okay, whatever. Um, but I think this is like the force feedback. Um, yeah, car versus steering wheel. I, I don't know. I have no idea what that does. <laughs> um, cancel. Uh, no. Okay, anyway. The setup manager. Do all that. And then here you can, well, it's kind of obvious. You can just choose a car. <laughs> um, wait a minute. So did I not get the Cadillac? That's dumb. Okay, well, I showed you guys, but I was going to show you, so. I unfortunately can't get the car that I wanted to get, but. Um, anyway guys, see you in another video, I guess. Goodbye. I swear I wasn't paying attention. And here is MP. There's the three. It's it. And with the lead, I like the strategy. Welcome to the video. Today's gonna be of a quick one because um after this I gotta go to bed. So we're gonna do a late night game or race of Forza Motorsport. Anyway, here we are. Um already in two third Ugh, can't get around this guy. Ooh, oops. My bad. <laughs> I didn't even realize I bumped him. Anyway. I'm trying to catch up with him. He is going a bit faster than me through these corners, though. And literally any other time I did this track, but... Whatever. <laughs> Jesus! Oh my god. It's always the Lincoln Co's that do this, dude. It's probably gonna give me a penalty, though. Oh my gosh. Okay, oh Jesus, I don't know what is going on this race, but it is getting wild out here. Like, jeez. Oh, going wide. I mean, the practice wasn't this crazy, like, it was a bit wild, but it wasn't as bad as this. <laughs> like, jeez. It's just carnage back there. So the last video I did on Forza Motorsport, we were in the uh, introduction or introductory or whatever season or season or series um and that's all honda civics which makes it a little bit more equal between people and it's honestly up to skill but um in this a lot of people just have different cars that they like to use i like to use this car just because it's what i'm used to and i mean it doesn't give me wins or anything but it's just Enjoyable, I guess. We're going to finally pass this guy. I was trying to get him a penalty by him ramming into me. <laughs> Which is kind of evil. But, uh... Six seconds is close to ten seconds, so... Anyway, I gotta hurry up because, um... He's, like, right behind me. Eek. That's still so cool how you can see, like, other cars going by on other sections of the track. 
I'm like slowly starting to lose grip around all these corners. But I am in a penalty zone right now. Like, look, the guy right behind me has a penalty. This guy right here has a penalty. So, ah, I don't know. I'm just going to pit. I don't really think I can get through this. So, I think if I just pit now. Oh, he's pitting too. So, that's good. I'm going to go soft tires. And then just, uh, just recommend it, I guess. All right, so hurry up. All right, that was that was a good good pit stop. It was a bit long. We're losing a ton of places, but I switched to the soft tires for a reason. I don't know. In this case, I think the smarter route would have been going for the hard tires, but whatever. Whoa, what is this person doing? He does have a one second penalty, so. What? What is going on this race? This is so dumb. <laughs> okay, see, a lot of people are going in this lap as they did the same choice as me with either mediums or softs to either uh, end the race strong or just get a good start honestly right now i just have to get within um 2.75 seconds of the guy in front of me and i'll be good i accept america uh, i i'm not even gonna <gasps> i wasn't paying attention that is a penalty what okay 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 not complaining but that should be a huge penalty <laughs> just a little bit faster please Please, game. I'm trying to go as fast as I can through all of these corners, but it's just, I can't. Oh. Jeez, I'm having so much understeer. I don't really actually have to worry about the guy behind me that much but it's probably good that I do because he is right on my tail here so I could try to knock him off just kind of make him spin out without trying to get myself a penalty or I can just drive clean and get away from him I'm probably just gonna try to drive clean and get away from him as he might be somebody who's trying to wreck me and I don't want to get wrecked right now because um <clears throat> well, that will not help at all. Ooh, I am not doing so hot. I am not at all. I am having... T I should have just gone with mediums. Okay, I can squeeze through. I have to get early on the brakes, though. That's how bad my tires are right now. Ooh. I think I gave him a nudge there, but I don't really think that should ruin his race too much. Oh my gosh, look at that. They are completely dead. Ooh, okay. Um, I did gain a ton of places. I just have to go into the pits. I have, there's no way I can finish this race in any way, shape, or form like this. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna, do okay skip okay come on come on come on it's a quick tire change come on hurry up game come on come on come on ah no that took a really long time now i definitely will not catch up to this franta peppa whatever guy but um if i can just stay within a good time i can at least get 11th place but oh my i almost cut the track a ton so, I think he's on balding tires. Like, he is severely losing grip. I, I can't really tell. It's kind of hard to tell. But it doesn't seem like he is being that confident. There we go. That's all we needed. Uh, it was just to get through him. Now it's to get up to Raging Walrus, who is a little bit ahead. But, um, ooh. Terrible turn there. Whoa. 
don't know what that guy was doing after this video comes out. Oh, he is, sheesh, oh my god. He's not getting anything for this. Okay, wait a minute. I can catch up to Raging Walrus. I think he's on deads. Like, his tires. Ooh, okay. I do not have that much time to catch up to him. His tires are completely dead. I can tell that they are dead. He's just trying to get through this. Like, <clears throat> he, it, he definitely went for mediums. I probably should have just gone on to more softs instead of going on to medium since it's literally two laps that I had to finish. These would have been some pretty quick two laps. He's literally right there. Ooh, come on. Yep, he's gone, but... Hey, that was an interesting race. That was the first time that I've ever had to pit. I got 10th place. Or 11th place, what am I talking about? Mm, just a little bit too far behind him. Now, the last time I checked, my skill rating was 3003. And my uh, safety rating, which definitely should go up after this race. Because that was literally, a, like, that was a battlefield out there. I, I don't understand how my safety rating would go down after that. Um, let's go to ratings here. All right, yeah, exactly. So I went from 3,003, like my skill, up to 3,122. Um, and my safety rating went up a rank, which is really good because I didn't get any. Um, I got a few, like, little calls at the start of the race. But um, honestly, I did really good that race. The most strategy I've ever had to use in in an online race so far. Um, and everything that they talked about this game and that they bragged about and said was going to be insane actually was insane and fun for me. So um, still, I know for a lot of people, this game hasn't lived to their, like, what they wanted it to live up to, but... For me, it's done exactly what I wanted it to do. To be a fun racing game I could enjoy and uh, like have a bit of a competitive aspect to it. And I don't need my wheel for that. So, um, yeah. If this video has comments, comment down below what your thoughts have been on Forza Motorsports so far. Um, and we're going to end this video. So, hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed Hope to see you in the next video. Um, definitely check out the shorts after this video comes out because there's probably going to be a lot. But um, hey, catch you next time. Bye. Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today, we're going to be going to the Hornets game. Super excited, because I've literally never been to an NBA game, so that's interesting. If you guys didn't notice, I'm a, a new setup here. I'm in a hotel, obviously. That, that wasn't obvious. Um. Anyways, let's get into the video. Cue the intro. That's cool. Oh, that's a cool jacket. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's a cool jacket. 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 Oh, that's a
Foam thingy. This you is so like cool. The foam finger? Oh. Who's that? Oh, yeah. You <laughs> we didn't buy anything. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Here we go. Come into our seats. <laughs> Okay, so we're doing this in obvious we're in our seats now. Okay, see when the game starts. I think they're about to come out. Let's see. No. 
welcome. man was cooking cooking anyways that was a really good game a lot of good highlights came out of that game check them out on, on the NBA app if you have that on the NBA YouTube channel literally anywhere check out all those highlights those were that was an awesome game um unfortunately my phone died at the end of the game so I couldn't get that hopefully this guy uh, I can get some footage off of there from the NBA app and um, I can get some highlights that I couldn't record during the game or any highlights that I missed during the game because I was trying to watch the game. I, I mean, I was trying to record at the same time, but difficult, you know? Anyways, that was an awesome game. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys just, I hope you guys thought that was fun. I thought it was fun. Um, vote down in the comments on who you were voting for. Um, and I'm not even gonna say who won because if if I premiere this, which I probably will, um, I'm gonna just let you guys see who wins from these highlights that I'm about to show. So, anyways, that was a lot of fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I sure did, um, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.